Something druid. Halsin, was it? He may be talented, but only a Githyanki safest can cleanse an embedded tadpole. Almost pleasant traveling with company, if you ignore all the less pleasant aspects. Startled me. I, uh, it's miles away. No, no, she's no one, really. I was just practicing an incantation. feel to see her, to draw the filaments of fantasy into existence. No sculpture or painting could ever do her justice. Only the fabric that she herself is and embodies. The weave. Mistra is all magic. And as far as I'm concerned, she is all creation. Magic is... my life. I've been in touch with the Weave for as long as I can remember. There's nothing like it. It's like music, poetry, physical beauty, all rolled into one and given expression through the senses. Would you like to experience this? Then follow my lead. Now you. You feel something strange, like a kind word and a kind touch at the same time. It's warm and comfortable. Excellent. Now, repeat after me. Athra Mistra Ril Kantrak Eo. of rose water and a sense of well-being, a sliver of weave that tastes sweet on the tongue. Very good. Now, I want you to picture in your mind the concept of harmony, as true as you can. You see, or is it sense, the presence of a woman, 
The woman who hovered over Gail's palm, there's something like the anticipation of a kiss, then the pleasure of being cloaked in peace. You are safe. You are nestled in the cup of Mistra's hand. <laughs> you did it! You're channeling the weave! How does it feel? Oh, I know. The weave connects you. The moment feels intimate. The weave evaporates, and as it does so, you realize the night feels suddenly cold and lonesome. Oh, there it goes. How easily things slip away from us, no matter how hard they were in the obtaining. Good night. I enjoyed sharing a moment of magic with you. Second fiddle to the likes of her. Go try your charms on someone who's out of earshot. A dragon rider. My kin are near. It's huge. Too much to hope that's nothing to do with us, wouldn't it? I tangled with a dragon once. Never forgot it. Drop your weapons! I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istik. This is your last chance! No, look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Now burn! Wasting time, Beretta. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to. No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. A red dragon. I envy its knight. Would that I rode such a steed. A crash must be near. Come, my kin await. The dragon served if Yankee. I'll see it does you no harm. Follow me. We are close to the cure we seek. Kithrak, we must speak. Forever. Look what. Ryder, my time is short. Lead me to. Shh, shh, shh. Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not bleeding, for I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, child. Imbecile, stay back. 
Now, now, child, your pet means to speak. Tell me, pet, why shouldn't I run you through this instant? Perceptive for such an inferior creature. For you to keep sucking air, it is necessary for you to tell me something of worth. A vessel fell from the sky. We seek a precious weapon that was taken from it. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon that Voss seeks. It's the artifact that she carries. Her mind focuses. The kids' suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is right within their grasp. Help us find it and I will leave your blood beneath your skin unspilled. Don't help them. Don't tell them a thing. We're dead if you do. Do not speak. Your bleating offends my ears. Just stand still. He begins to move his hand in a quick flurry of gestures. You realize he's casting detect thoughts. Nothing even approaching a useful thought in that skull. I ought to just kill you. Unlikely you'd be successful, but it costs me nothing to spare your sorry life. Very well, Istik. Seek out survivors from the ship that crashed on this wretched world. Bring me their heads. Bring me the weapon. If you succeed, the reward will be great. Now go. I required your silence, and you made me a mockery! A Kithrak demanded my head! I should have given him yours. Bah! This is a distraction. The Kithrak deserves the whole of my scorn. How dare he speak my queen's name? How dare he dishonor her child? Do not be naive. I followed protocol. I've earned Vlacket's favor! I will remove the parasite. I will see the Kithrak dead. And I will offer his head to Vlacketh herself. The crush is near, this much we know. We follow the path forward and into the valley. No one, not even the ignoble Gestil Kithrak, will keep me from my purification.
your face protects me. Breed madness. People will say, well, when they find out the monster hunter is becoming a monster. I faced countless perils and conquered them all. This will be no different. I always had a soft spot for the confident ones. They always disappoint there. Look at these gouges. Tore through rock like it was butter. Perhaps it's some artist trying to make a statement. The Blade of Frontiers, hmm? Do you always need to be the center of attention? Anything but. I don't fight to be flattered, Lazel. I fight to save lives. Strengthen neither heads nor hearts, Shadow. I wouldn't quite say that. I learned the lesson, after all. 
and came to resent your tutor on it. I taught them to fight, not to hate. Nobody's listening. <laughs> Look what we got here! Another little birdie wanting to fly! Stop this thing! <laughs> Flap those wings some more and I'll feed you a worm! And you! Hope you got a stomach for rights! What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly! You want this little cave lurking what's it? Find your own. He's ours! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Whatever you want. Your mind lurches, reeling suddenly as if bitten. The goblin's nostrils flare nervously. All of his bluster seems to vanish. We're leaving. Warbird no! Ain't we supposed to bring it to- I said we're leaving! Uh, uh, apologies, my lady. We didn't mean to doubt a true soul. We'll be off. Fresh meat. Scared meats, yes. Help. Shadowheart's attention is fixed on a damaged old statue. Kamara, there's pustulant thugs. Well, get on with it. You saved me, now you'll extort me. That's how this works, yes? Nothing. You're teasing me now. I'm certain of it. Take my pack, if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. 
I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Hmm. That's right. But why? Why, why? My great uncle's name, my father said. But I just figured he couldn't spell. Anything of use? That symbol in the blood. 
What does it mean? Just out of view. Bodies everywhere. Accident or sabotage?
man. One horn. The stink of Avernus. Advocatus Diaboli. <sighs> well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. Bloody right. An honor to be chased by the Blade of Frontiers, but I... Ugh! A great heat roars through you, her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood, the blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What was that? Evidence. Proof that you're a devil. A gladiator in the Archdevil Zariel's army. I can explain, but it's a whole situation. If you just hear me out... Another vision. Karlak's blade raised, slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Her rage and desperation seep into you. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. She's trying to trick us. Don't believe her lies. You saw the truth. I never wanted to serve Zariel. I was enlisted in her army against my will. Forced to fight, and fight I did. When I saw an opportunity to get away, I took it. Finally home. Near it anyway. You served her. That's enough to damn you. Will catches his breath and his lips straighten. Sheer dread twists his face. You don't know what you're saying. You're asking me to trust a devil. You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Oh, thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce then, eh? Aye. Truce. I'm Karlak. But you already knew that. And you are... Well met, soldier. Nice to meet a friendly around here. It's been tough going so far. I may not be a devil, but I can put the Blade's reputation to work. How would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? A little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good. Really good. It turns out I've got a knack for killing demons. That made me a valuable... Asset. Zariel, the Archdevil herself, made me as her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there, but devils don't like to lose their assets. <laughs> Zariel liked it so little. She sent a bunch of goons, so called Paladins of Tear, to take me back. Problem is, I'm not going. Yes. They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. Then we can work on evicting this parasite and take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? I'd hug you if it wouldn't scorch your skin off. Ah, uh, hang on though. Looks like you've got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it? You've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say. And I've played my part all too poorly. I can say only this. 
Karnak's not the only one who's had a villain's knife held to their throats. What's that supposed to mean? The truth will out before you know it. One night soon when we make camp, the veil will be lifted and I'll pay my penance. You're not in any danger, I promise. I can't say the same about me.